Hey everyone, this is Simi. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer and subscriber, thank you so much for checking back with me. As the title and the thumbnail of this video suggest, yes, it's true, I have been jumping 5,000 times every single day for the past nine weeks. How this came about is because I thought I was pretty fit because I was working out every day. But when I really sat back to look at it, I was not getting the results I wanted. I was always feeling bloated, my belly was sticking out, my clothes didn't fit right, and generally I was just not feeling good. So I was a little upset about that and I was like, what's the point of feeling upset? What are you gonna do about it? If what you're doing is not working, then you have to change it to see if that works. And from that desire to change things the way they were, this idea was born. I decided to challenge myself just one time to see how it would be to try to do 5,000 jumps in a workout. And if, if that was even possible for me, because when I timed my workout, it was over an hour. And it was all about my mindset. Once I finished the 5,000 jumps, I realized that it's physically possible, but I was the one struggling throughout the workout in my mind, trying to wrap my brain around the idea of jumping 5,000 times. So from the following day onwards, I decided to challenge my mindset because I already knew that physically it was possible for me to do 5,000 jumps. And every single day I woke up and I I hated the fact that I had challenged myself to do 5,000 jumps, but I knew that I had to follow through so that my mind would stop fighting and resisting. And at the end of the week, when I took pictures, I was impressed because I was like, okay, there's not a whole lot of change, but there is a shift. And that shift kept me motivated, kept me encouraged to say, okay, just one more week. and. Before I knew it, many weeks had passed and now I'm done with nine weeks of jumping 5,000 times. And believe it or not, it has become second nature now. I don't even feel any hesitation to press the start button on my workout anymore. And in fact, I have challenged myself even beyond that and I do at least 20 more minutes of practice of new jump rope moves after I'm done with my 5,000 jump workout. So far, it's been a very interesting journey to be an observer of my own experiment because I found that about week six, week seven, complacency set in, I was seeing great results, my body fat composition was changing, and I'm not doing anything fancy. All I'm doing is taking a picture once a week, or taking several pictures actually from different angles once a week, and then comparing it to the previous weeks. And specifically at the end, I compare my day one pictures to my current week pictures. So like I was saying, at the end of week six and all of week seven, I started slipping. My old ways of thinking started to creep back into my mindset. And I told myself, it's okay, you deserve a dessert. And then that one dessert became two desserts a day. Then that two desserts a day became desserts every day. And when I took my picture at the end of week seven, I was shocked to see that in just one week, I was almost back to where I had started, even though I was exercising. And that was enough proof for me to believe in what people have always been saying, that diet and exercise go hand in hand. You cannot out-exercise a bad diet. So I decided to mend my ways and do a quick turnaround and got back on track and I was thrilled that at the end of week eight I was I was looking better already and I had started to reverse the damage that I had done to myself in week six and week seven and I can tell you firsthand that there's nothing exciting about sticking to a routine boredom does set in and that is when you have to dig deeper and reach for that self-discipline that got you to that point in the first place where you started to make the shift. So once you have the momentum going, don't give up, don't fall back to your old ways, just push through because 
right on the other side of that pain and boredom is the result that you're going after. One way that I've been able to stave off boredom is by challenging myself to learn how to do double unders consecutively. I am trying to go for 10. I have not been successful so far. I've reached seven, but that's what is exciting about setting yourself a challenge and a goal. And when you reach that goal, then you find a new goal. You don't just say, okay, I did it, now what? You challenge yourself to greater heights, to things that you thought were impossible, all the while keeping the belief that if you work hard, if you go for it, every single day, you're gonna get it. Regardless of how much time it takes, you just keep pushing through and you make it happen. All too often, we reason why things can't happen for us, we justify why they're impossible, and at the end of it, we make excuses, and we don't even start on the idea that got us excited in the first place. So stop making excuses, just get up and go for it. I'm here to tell you that regardless of how old you are, what physical shape you're in, as long as you've got your limbs that can move, if I can do this, you can do this. So let's get into the video and see my progression over the last nine weeks. I'll meet you at the end.
with that rope toss, I completed nine weeks of jumping 5,000 times every day. I'm a hot, sweaty mess, but it's a great feeling. I hope you got some inspiration out of this video that success or change doesn't happen overnight. There are going to be hiccups down the road, but you must know your end goal and keep working towards it. So with that said, destroy the like button if you haven't already done so. And I would greatly appreciate you subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And spread the word, spread the joy, share this video with friends and family so that they can get inspired too. I'll see you soon.